this is Mr. Gadget Mix. I bought myself a GTX 1030 today. I bought it for doing video editing, but I think to push it to the maximum limit, you need to see how it performs in the mining. You see, mining takes the GPU to its real limits. It makes it run hot. It makes it, you know, run at its full power. So the two most popular mining algorithms are NiceHash, which is used by a variety of coins. This includes Bitcoin, Gold, Zencash, Zcash being the most popular, and Komodo. There are many other coins that use this NiceHash algorithm. So I've downloaded the miner for the NiceHash, and now I've overclocked the clock speed by a little bit, you know. Just to squeeze some more power out of it so you can see that it has already started mining so we should see the hash rate here very soon and that is around 64 solutions per second this is what you will be getting with the GDX 1030 with slightly overclocked memory and clock settings same goes for Zcash, Zencash, and Komodo, which use this same app and same algorithm for mining. We'll get the same amount of solutions because there's no difference in the algorithm. Mm, so, yeah, you can see that it consumes about 26 watts, which makes it very efficient. Very, very efficient. So, uh, let's mine GRS Crucial coin. So, this makes use of CC miner uh, and it uses a different kind of algorithm. Unfortunately, even after waiting for a minute or so, I couldn't get it to work. It just doesn't want to work. And this is the same algorithm, same app which is used by the Ethereum mining talking about ethereum mining ethereum mining is going to be rendered useless because very soon the ethereum network will be migrating to uh, pos proof of stake instead of proof of work pow so the miners will be jumping to ethereum classic or some other coin or they can just mine you know the uh, the coins that use the equihash algorithm so that's all about it if you want to buy gdx 1030 for mining don't don't buy it for mining this is the only graphic card that is left for the video artist and the you know people who want to play games and it's the only graphic card that is cheap right now so please leave it don't take it off the shelves don't buy it in hundreds don't buy it in thousands and that's all about it if you like this video Give us a like and say subscribe for more technology news. Bye-bye.